Hey guys, this is Adrian with 911 Gadgets. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to remove iCloud from any iOS device. Now, this video has been long awaited, so here it is. If you guys have any questions, message me on Instagram or email me or leave a comment down below. Hopefully, this helps you guys. Okay, so what you first want to do. First of all, this phone, when you get a phone and you don't know if it has iCloud, you want to get the IMEI number. Or you can reset the phone and if you see this screen, that means it has iCloud. I like to check for iCloud with the IMEI number using our sources because it's much faster than doing the whole restore process. Now, because this is an iPhone 6S, it doesn't have the IMEI number in the back. So we're going to need to get the SIM tray out and I'll show you guys here how to do that so you basically just um, you get one of these sim ejector tools you remove the sim tray and on the six S's and above you'll find the the IMEI number right in there I'm sorry my camera is not focusing but um, it's it's there <laughs> you, you can kind of see it right there but um, you, you won't be able to tell what it is let me see yeah it's not gonna show okay well anyways there's the IMEI number um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and run it on one of our sources here there's many sources out there if you guys want to know my exact sources Feel free to message me or just go to my website 911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training and you'll be able to download the PDF file for 39 bucks and it shows you a bunch of tips and tricks along with all my sources that I use and you'll also get my phone number so you can uh, text me or call me whenever you want 24 7 I'll be here to help you guys out be your mentor okay so what you want to do is you want to go to place new order you go to um, place new order, IMEI service. See this instant exclusive iPhone carrier SIM lock checker. It tells you if there's, um, if it has iCloud and it tells you what carrier it is, if it's unlocked, etc. for 50 cents. So when you click on that, you just submit the IMEI number on there, whatever number it is. I already did this um, previously, so I already have the results for this particular phone. Um, so let's go to those, uh, let's go to that, that um, results. So this one, uh, I put the IMEI number and I did the instant and exclusive iPhone carrier SIM lock checker for 50 cents. And here it tells me it's an iPhone 6S, 16 gigabytes. Here's the IMEI number, serial number, activated, warranty status. What we really wanna look at is this right here. You know, find my iPhone is on. Now, to remove iCloud, you have to make sure that the iCloud status is clean. It cannot say lost or stolen or anything like that. It needs to say clean, otherwise they won't accept the, the request to remove the iCloud, okay? So this one is clean, so we're good to, uh, we're good to go on it, we're good to submit it. Um, and this one ha happens to be unlocked, so this is a pretty good situation. I actually got this phone for free. Um, so, cool. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this IMEI number so I don't have to read it off the SIM tray again. And we're going to go to Place Order IMEI Service. Select, and we're going to search iCloud so here's iCloud removal world iCloud removal worldwide for models 4 through 6 6 plus 6 s se notice how the 6s plus is not on there but it's on the next one um, it jumps to hundred and six dollars ours is only 89.99 and it says clean only let's go ahead and click on there this will remove iCloud off of iPhones or iPads. So it's it's um, it specifically says here: do not submit the order 
if it shows iClouds that is lost okay it must be clean and they won't refund you if you do it like that okay so let's go ahead and put the IMEI number there see if I can paste it yeah I think it did let me just verify 9021 9021 cool so here we go um, this service delivery time is one to three days so once I'm done with this um, submitting this request I'll come back and finish the rest of the video and then I'll just edit it and put it all together for you guys so I'll see you guys in like a day or two or three days uh, sometimes it, it does take longer but for the most part they're pretty on, on time so let's go ahead and place this order $89 I already filled my account with money got 96 bucks in there so I'm gonna use 89 of that so here we go let's place the order there you go one order placed successfully now before I um, before I resorted to removing the iCloud this way I tried a couple of passcodes to try to get into the phone and um, they didn't work so it was like you had to wait 15 minutes then I had to wait 30 minutes then I had to wait an hour so now um, now an hour has passed and I think I haven't tried one of the most um, another one of the common passcodes so let's go ahead and try it I know I already submitted it and I'm gonna hit myself in the head if I if I um, if I managed to guess it so here we go um, let me put the exposure down to negative I guess let me see This negative eight is good. All right, so here we go. I already tried zero 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 zero. I already tried one two three four. I haven't tried all the corners, so let's try all the corners. Nope, iPhone is disabled. So I guess you get like three or four chances or tries to do it, and then eventually it'll just be disabled. So I'll come back to this um, iCloud removal and as soon as I as soon as I get the email or the notification that the results are in and then we'll just uh, guide you through that process okay guys so it is now Tuesday and I've received the email that the results are in so the email says find my iPhone off so let's go and as you can see here I logged into my account and here it is iCloud removal worldwide iPhone models 4 through SE 6s 6 plus and here's the IMEI number um, it matches the one I, re I previously checked Find my iPhone was on right there and then now find my iPhone off so like I said before I um, I processed this request on a Monday it was really early on Monday I checked later that Monday and this thing was still um, where it says success here it, it was still pending or waiting action today's now Tuesday so one day later and find my iPhone is off remember find my iPhone is means iCloud so just for uh, the sake of double checking let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and uh, run this this same instant exclusive iPhone carrier so let's go to place order I'm I service go to select and then type in carrier to search for it so instant exclusive iPhone carrier that was 50 cents all right so let's paste the IMEI here and let's place the order cool Let's go to order history and here you see it says waiting action. Now let's just wait and um, and see what the results are. Um, we're going to expect this whole thing here uh, except for find my iPhone should say off. Okay. Okay. So here we have it. Success. Um, that only took about two minutes. Um, and all right, here it is. IMEI number ending in 021. 
Model 6s, 16 gigabytes, same exact thing except find my iPhone is now off. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's still iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes. So now what we want to do is like we didn't really have to check it. I just wanted to show you guys to so you guys can like be double sure. So you could have just plugged it into your iTunes and did a restore. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's go ahead and open iTunes. What you want to do is you want to turn off the phone. Okay, so let's turn it off. And you want to be using an original Apple cable. So once the phone is off, you want to press down the home button. Okay, so you press and hold the home button and just keep pressing it. Get your, uh, make sure your cable's connected to your computer and make sure iTunes is running. And here we go. Plug it in and keep that home button pressed down. There you go. It says iTunes and then you'll get this prompt on your screen. There's a problem with the iPhone. That's because it's been disabled. Uh, you're going to go to restore. So let's restore it. This will erase everything. Restore and update. Next. Agree. You'll have this little download status bar up here. So there's one second remaining. iPhone software update. Processing file. Then you're going to see a little, a little status bar up here at the top. There you go. So now that the download is done. And this download up here, it takes, it depends on... Um, it depends on your internet speed. I have um, 300 megabits per second, so it's pretty fast. It just downloaded three gigabytes in less than two minutes. So now it's extracting the software. Um, yeah, I used to have slower internet and it used to take 15 to 25 minutes. Depending on the internet, man, it's gonna take you 15 to 20 minutes just to download. It might take you up to an hour. So here you go, it's waiting for iPhone, prepare an iPhone for restore, let it do its thing. Okay guys, so here it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Now this one, for some reason, took a while in the oh, in the restore process. Like halfway through it, it kind of freaked me out. I got scared. I'm like, uh-oh, what's going on with this? So don't get discouraged if it's hanging, you know, like halfway or one-third of the way or something. It literally took about... I want to say between five and ten minutes on the same halfway point around right here that I even started searching like okay restore stuck halfway what do I do but um, yeah so I was just patient and I was almost tempted to just unplug it and turn it off and um, trying to restore again so just wait it out guys sometimes it could take five minutes sometimes it'll take 30 minutes just wait it out now if it's been past like 30 to 45 minutes maybe an hour and it's still stuck in the same spot then I would probably think that there's something wrong with the phone or something's not working so in that case you want to try maybe a different cable or I'm using a Windows computer but I've found that Apple computers if you have an Apple computer maybe try it with that it's a lot a little bit more fluent Sometimes when I when I had issues in the past with another Windows computer, I would just plug it into a Mac and that issue wouldn't pop up anymore. So So here we have it. It's restarting and we're going to hook it up to the Wi-Fi and see if that iCloud is in fact off already. All right, so here we go. We have the Hello screen. A lot of times, uh, this is what you see. Even um, you don't know that the that the phone has iCloud on, right? Until you hook it up to Wi-Fi, and it asks you for that email and um, 
password that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. Or you can always just take the SIM the SIM tray out or some of these older phones have a, this, the IMEI number in the back. And then just use our tools and see if it has a iCloud. So before you buy a phone, um, whether it's to resell it or to use it for yourself or your family and you're on offer up, ask them for the IMEI number, run it on uh, one of our tools and see if it has iCloud on. And if it does have iCloud, you determine if it's worth it, you know, depending on how much you're going to buy it for. Um, you determine if it's worth paying whatever the fee is to remove iCloud, okay? So here we go. Let's set it up. Set up manually. So let's hook it up to my internet. Okay, so now that it's hooked up to the internet, we can continue the setup. All right, so here you go. Data and privacy, hit continue. This is usually a good sign. Once it's allowing you to start the touch ID, that means you're, you're good to go. So set up touch ID later, don't use for now. Passcode settings, passcode options. I'm gonna put don't use a passcode, don't use a passcode. Um, set up as new iPhone. I'm gonna say forgot password or don't have Apple ID. Set up later in settings, don't use Apple ID. Agree, continue, install. Okay, just continue, continue. Set up later. Set up later. Share with app developers, sure, whatever. Choose a view, next. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. And here you go, guys. There's no iCloud on this device. And there you go, sign into your iPhone. So iCloud is gone. So this is the real way to remove iCloud on any iOS device, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments or um, send me a direct message on Instagram at 911gadgets or email me contact at 911gadgets.com. If you're interested in finding these sources where you can remove iCloud and you can learn some more from me, um, you'll get my personal phone number so that we can communicate in case you ever need anything. I got a lot of people texting me <clears throat> um, like daily, like, hey, Adrian, should I buy these phones? And then I, I say yes or no, or what do I do if this is this, or what if this has this, or blah, blah, blah. So I'll just reply to you guys because I love helping you, you know? So the uh, PDF file that has all the sources and my tips and tricks and tools and all that stuff, it's uh, at www.911gadgets.com forward slash cell phone repair training well I hope this video helped you and I hope this video is something that you guys can share um, and I know there's a lot of videos out there that don't really show you how to remove iCloud or they're just fake or whatever and if this helped you and you feel like it's real please like the video and leave a comment down below Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.